throw on a very slow wheel. This is combing, it helps do a couple of things. It allows you to really know what it looks like kneading the clay, allows you to get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. but it also helps to align the clay particles to make them easier to stretch. And also, any air that's still in the clay after you've kneaded it, unless it's in the bottom of the cone, should, should come to the surface and you'll be able to break it before it becomes a problem later on in the throwing. that back toward the center because even though it's pulling out here it's still stretching the middle and making it uneven in its density. Hence it would crack in the center and the grind. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of a theme with this clay body. It's cracking in the grind. For the bigger pieces, is it you start off with? Uh, well, more more clay, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Uh, and each thing is weighed. According to the original, say so weight, measure the original after weight loss or shrinkage to set your calipers according to the new measures and weigh it and add for weight loss and drying and firing. So you have your, your size is predetermined and your weight is there so that you know now if you're just trimming, for example, the lip off or something and you're doing, cutting off any amount of it or there's larger amounts coming off on your hands when you're throwing bigger pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, then you add on for that as well. And then subtract off if something has like a, a large heavy handle. Pull a handle and weigh it. Pull a handle to you know the size of the original. Or what. And then just... Uh, Weigh it and subtract that off the piece. Mm 